If you are struggling with mindful eating, then this video is just for you because in today's video, I'm going to be chatting to you about a mindful eating strategy called the 321 strategy. And that's exactly what the strategy is. Three plates, two snacks, one glass of water before and after every single meal. You'll see at the bottom here, the BYP, I'm covering what it stands for because I want you to watch this whole video. And at the end of this video, I will touch on the BYP and what it stands for and why it is so super important. This strategy is gonna help for anyone that is really struggling to be mindful. If you have no idea where to start with your health and fat loss expedition, you have no idea what food choices to make, and you have no idea how much to eat, then this video is really gonna help you. It's gonna help give you control, it's gonna help give you structure, it's just gonna help you understand about the food choices to make. When you are tracking calories, you have a very good idea of how much food you are eating, how much calories you are consuming throughout the day, and that helps give you structure and control. But if you're not tracking calories, it can be a lot more difficult because you don't actually know how many calories you are consuming. And that's why this 321 method really does help. Let's dive into it. Three plates. I'm talking your average size plates. I'm not talking your mini plates. I'm not talking your massive fucking buffet serving tray as a plate. You're gonna have a normal average size serving, not overflowing on the sides, not a massive mountain on the plate. Boom, on the plate, that's it. Don't overthink it, don't get too technical, don't whatever. Now I know you're probably sitting there thinking, oh, but Mandy, what do I put on the plate? That's the BYP that I was speaking about that I'm going to chat about at the end of this video. I'm going to explain to you exactly what that means. Also, when it comes to snacks, two snacks per day, don't overthink it, palm size snacks. Now I know a lot of you are like, oh, but Mandy, the banana doesn't fit in my palm. Sometimes we need to use a little bit of initiative, cut that banana in half, put the two halves next to one another, boom, it will fit in your palm. Again, not a massive heap on your palm, normal average palm size. Don't overthink it, don't overcomplicate it. Snack of your choice, almonds, rice cake with some cottage cheese, couple of blocks of chocolate, banana, apple, then with that, like I said, one glass of water before and after every single meal. Now you ask, what is the benefit of those glasses of water? Number one, when you're adding it before and after a meal, it just helps you create a habit because you're adding it on top of a pre-existing habit, habit stacking. And then as well, the water before the meal might make you feel a little bit fuller whilst you are eating. If you're drinking water during the meal, it's gonna help you slow down the rate that you are eating at. That's going to create time for the tummy and the brain to send signals to one another to say, okay, stop your fucking lorry, I'm full now. Direct translation, fucking stop the lorry, I'm full now. Now, the BYP stands for build your plate. And that's what we're going to discuss now. Banana, you a snack. This is not how we build a plate. This is what I mean by it overflowing and looking like a mole heap. This is, no. Here we go, let's do this. A quarter of your plate, protein. A quarter of your plate, carbohydrates. Half your plate, veggies. That's how you're gonna build your plate. That's gonna give you most bang for your buck when it comes to your nutrient-dense choices. Myself, for example, in my shopping basket today, some ostrich meat for my protein. I've got some broccoli stems for my veggies, some mushrooms for my veggies, and some butternut for my veggies. These two things come at very low calorie cost and they just add volume to the meal. Sweet potatoes, carbohydrates. One thing I wanna point out to all of you watching this video is, if for example, I build my plate up with veggies consisting of butternut and carrots, I may not necessarily then have the sweet potatoes because my butternut and carrots are adding to my carbohydrate splits. And I must say that's where tracking your calories is quite beneficial because you'll be able to see, mm, I've added butternut and carrot and my carbohydrates are sitting at quite a high percentage already. I don't necessarily need to add the sweet potato. But as you continue moving forward, these are all things that you will learn. These are all things that you'll pick up on and these are all things that you can tweak. The most important thing about this 3 two, one strategy is it's really gonna help you be more mindful. It's gonna help that you consume three meals per day. Breakfast, your lunch and your dinner. That's gonna help regulate your appetite hormones. That's gonna help you feel fuller throughout the day. And then bonus, you're adding those two snacks as well gonna help you feel even more fuller. And then another big bonus is you're drinking that water around your meals, also gonna help with adherence to your calories. By implementing the three, two, one strategy, it's gonna give you so much control and structure around your meals. If you wanna have a bowl of something for breakfast, for example, that's also fine. It counts as a plate. Again, like I said, don't be too technical. If you're having oats and a banana for breakfast in a bowl, 
see it as a plate. Ideally, you don't want to be building your breakfast bowl with, with French fries. I mean, you can if you want to, you adults. If health and fat loss is your goal, you want to be looking at more nutrient-dense options. I'm going to add a disclaimer in here. If you're having a bowl of French fries for breakfast, and you're having a plate of pizza for lunch, and you're having a plate of fast food takeaway burger and chips for dinner, that doesn't necessarily align with the strategy that we are discussing here. That's why I added the build your plate section in this video so that you know to focus more on nutrient dense foods and reduce the calorie dense foods. I didn't say restrict the calorie dense foods, add a couple of blocks of chocolate to your palm and have that as a snack. If that works for you, that's fine. But don't come to me three weeks down the line and tell me, oh Mandy, it's not working, but then you've been adding pizza to every single plate that you are consuming. Okay, that's not gonna work either. If after three weeks you haven't seen any shift on the scale, you haven't seen any shift in your body composition, start making a couple of tweaks. Maybe look at a leaner source of protein so that you reduce the calories within that area. That's also where you have a look then at the amount of carbohydrates that you get getting through your veggies and then decide, mm, do I still add extra carbohydrates or am I content with the carbohydrates that I'm getting through the vegetables? Maybe your snacks weren't a palm size. Maybe your snacks were two palms fitted into one palm. It's all those things that you need to take into consideration. But I can tell you now, I'm almost shit sure, if you stick to the three, two, one strategy, you build that plate the way that I have discussed and you create consistency within that, I have no doubt that you will see massive amounts of progress within your health and on that scale as well.